Hey everybody, Norm over here, and I wanted to tell you about a couple things because I think they're of interest to all the guitar enthusiasts out there. There's a new book called The Birth of Loud, and it's by a guy named Ian Port. And the book's really interesting. It's really the story of the uh, birth of the solid body electric guitar and the competition between Les Paul and Leo Fender. Um, it's very interesting because it shows kind of the contrast of the two personalities. Les Paul was very outgoing and, um, you know, very much you know, uh, exciting, and uh, Leo Fender was kind of very drab kind of guy who was kind of trying to build an everyman's guitar that was affordable to everybody, where Les wanted to have something that was a little fancier and a little more slick and all that. But it's, it's really cool because it kind of contrasts the personalities of the two guys and how they were competing with each other. And it all took place in California, really, um, where uh, Leo had uh, his radio shop and Les and Leo would meet and sometimes they would meet with Paul Bigsby and they were talking about the advantages of solid body guitar and it really changed music for everybody. Um, you know, when uh, the the standard was using uh, these archtop acoustic electric guitars which fed back at high volume and stuff like that, and there were pro uh, problems that would happen with these instruments, so they were trying to address it by doing these solid bodies. And uh, it's a really great story, it's very well written, and I think it would be entertaining to any of you guys that love uh, the story of electric guitar and modern music. Really well written. Also, there's a movie that I saw the other day by accident that is not getting a lot of press, but it's fantastic. It's called Amazing Grace, and it's really a, a story of a concert in uh, 1971 with Aretha Franklin. And um, this was in L.A. also uh, with Reverend James Cleveland, and Aretha really started as a gospel singer, and then most people know her as a pop and soul singer. And she was such a gifted singer, um, and it's really a study for anybody who likes singing um, to just see how she ad-libbed all her uh, phrases and everything over the background and the pad that the choir and, the, uh, and her band uh, played. So it's just something that I think really should be seen, and her voice is just amazing, and it's, uh, if you're a fan of Aretha Franklin, you got to see it. It's getting hardly any press, and I think you guys really should check it out. It's a study in great singing. So I just wanted to tell you about those things, and I just wanted to tell you my wife has diagnosed me with the rest of the development. She thinks I'm a nine-year-old in a 70-year-old body. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I think a lot of that has to do with loving music and being around instruments and guitar. And uh, I, I don't know if we could do anything about preserving your body and making you younger, but your mind, it, you know, I never want to grow up, and I hope you guys never grow up too. So love you guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a rest of the development like I do, and I hope you enjoy the... Uh, these the book and the movie it's a lot of fun both of them are really for our crowd check it out really cool